VMware Skyline Health Diagnostic or SHD is a self-service on-premises tool that deeply analyzes the logs for issues detection and root cause analysis. After detecting an issue, SHD recommends appropriate VMware knowledge base articles for the remedial steps. SHD fastens the overall troubleshooting process significantly and reduces the resolution time greatly. With VMware SHD, our customers can perform purple screen of death or PSOD analysis, security vulnerabilities detection, and identifying hardware compatibility issues. The current release of SHD supports vSphere, vSAN, and vCF health check. Skyline Health Diagnostic shares its DNA with VMware Global Support Services, or GSS. Over the years, GSS has built an enormous knowledge library that helps tech support engineers identify and resolve issues. With SHD, we are sharing this knowledge library with our customers. SHD is also equipped with advanced troubleshooting tools that VMware engineering team uses to troubleshoot complicated problems. VMware SHD can be deployed either as an OVA or can be installed from an ISO file. The OVA and the ISO file can be downloaded from the my.vmware.com portal. SHD is perfectly capable of operating in dark sites and does not require an internet access. All right, let us look at VMware Skyline Health Diagnostic Tool more closely. We will first deploy Skyline Health Diagnostic Tool. Post deployment, we will use SHD to analyze my lab environment to detect any issue and perform a quick security vulnerability detection. All right, let's get started. Deploying SHD OVA is quite easy and straightforward. After selecting the OVA and accepting the End User License Agreement or EULA, we provide networking details and select a password. Since my SHD will take networking details from the DHCP server, I will leave networking fields blank. SHD comes with two user accounts. The root user account is used to access the shell of the SHD appliance and SHD-admin account is used to access the SHD web interface. I have already created the necessary DNS records for my SHD appliance. Let us now log into the SHD and analyze our environment. And here we go. We are now logged into the SHD. SHD can fetch logs directly from the vCenter server or the extracted logs can be manually uploaded. For a standalone or disconnected ESXi, SHD leverages SSH to extract logs. To start the log analysis, SHD requires vCenter server details. Let us first verify that the credentials are valid and we can talk to the vCenter server. Okay. Let us now run the diagnostic. Every diagnostic requires a tag name. Assigning a tag essentially creates a name for that particular instance of diagnostic, and it also helps to locate it at a later point in time. And here we see that the diagnostic has started and is in progress now. SHD diagnostic has completed now. Let us quickly dive into the report which SHD has generated. And here we see the diagnostic report which summarizes VMware security advisory or VMSA findings and overall diagnostic summary. And straight away we can see that our environment does not have any security vulnerability. However, there are multiple errors in our environment. Let us look at them closely. Let us expand the vCenter server view to find the error details. Over here, we can see that SHT has detected an error and has also recommended a KB article to fix it. Similarly, we can see errors for ESXi and associated KB articles. To summarize, VMware SHD drastically reduces the resolution time and ensures that our customers have improved availability always. Thank you for watching this video.